These are the Algebra 2 notes, 0 0.3. We're going to be solving systems by graphing. And a system is just two or more equations. So we'll make a little note about that. System, two or more equations. Solve the systems by graphing and then write your answer on the line provided. So for each of these, we want these in the form y equals mx plus b so that we can graph it. When we graph, m is our slope and b is the y-intercept. And we're always going to graph this one first. For the slope, you've probably heard of rise over run. So we'll keep that in mind as we graph. For our first example, both of these are in the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So we can immediately start graphing. I'll put a 1 over 1 in front of there to get my rise over run. And same thing right there, except that one's going to be a negative 1 over 1. So I'll graph the top equation first. This is my x-axis and the y-axis. So you're going to go up to 4 on your y-axis right here. Then from that point, you're going to go up one and over one, rise over run, up and forward, up and forward. You can also extend your line by going down and left, just the opposite of both directions. We want to make sure our lines are very accurate, very straight here. So extend your dots as long as you need to take up all the space on the graph. All right, now I'll switch colors and go with pink here to do the second one. This time we're going to go up two on our y-axis right there. And this time our slope is a negative, which means we're going to go down, but still forward. Down and forward, down and forward, down and forward. We have to go down and forward because otherwise it's going to actually down and back creates a positive slope and uphill. That looks good on that side, and I'll extend it the other way. I'll go up and back to go exactly the opposite in both directions. And you can see that the two lines intersect at a point. That point is your solution. So our solution is this point right here. If I count from 0, 0, right in the middle, it's left 1, negative 1, and up 3 negative 1, 3. The point, the solution is negative 1, 3. All right, let's look at example number two. The first one is already solved for us. I'll put a 1 underneath there. And then x and your y. I always remember y axis points to the sky, y to the sky. I'll start my top equation by going down 3. So from the center, down 1, 2, 3. Then I have a negative slope, so I go down 2 and forward 1. Down 2 and forward 1. Notice how it's going downhill. Now I'll continue the other direction. Up and back, up and back, up and back. For our second equation, we need to solve this. So I'm going to bring it over here where I have a little bit more space. My goal is to solve for y. So I'll subtract 4x. Now if we look at our slope-intercept form, notice we have the x first. So on my equation here, I want to put the negative 4x first and then the constant, the regular number. Then I need to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide by 2. Negative 4 over 2 can be written as negative 2. Divide those out. Minus 3. And you can even put a 1 underneath there like that as well. 
So this looks like I'm going to go down three to graph. One, two, three. That's weird. It's on the same line already, on the same point. And then down two over one, down two over one. It looks like all the points are landing in the exact same place on the exact same line. It looks like the lines are one and the same. When that happens, you're going to have an answer of infinitely many solutions. So oftentimes we write that as I, M, S, infinitely many solutions. Or you could also just write many solutions. And that's telling us that the lines are crossing a lot of places. So there's a lot of solutions. So this point right here is a solution. 0, negative 3. This one right here is a solution. 1, negative 5. This one here is a solution. 2, negative 7. All of these dots where they cross are solutions. And even the decimals in between each of the dots is a solution. So whichever you would rather write, either IMS or many solutions, both will be correct. And again, that's if you have the same line. So we'll write a little note like that. If the lines are exactly the same, you're going to have many solutions, infinitely many solutions. Okay, example number three. Both of these are solved for us, which means it's going to be hopefully a little bit easier. X-axis, Y-axis, I'm going to go up eight on the Y-axis. And then I'm going to go up 3 and over 2. So when I go up 3, I actually end up off my graph, but that's okay. I'll just think I'm right here on that line. Up 3, over 2. I don't really want to extend it any further that way. I'm going to go backwards. So remember, we're going to go opposite in both directions. Down 3 and backwards 2. Down 3 and backwards 2. And you'll notice that continuation of the line. There we go. All right, for our second equation, the x does not have a number in front, so we'll put a 1, and then we'll graph up 6, and up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And down 1 backwards, down 1 backwards, down 1 backwards and it's almost crossing right there but it doesn't actually cross until right there so it comes really close to crossing twice but you're just going to look for the place where it crosses where they have that same dot then starting from the center here at zero zero this is how far you go left, left 4, so negative 4, up to positive 2. The point negative 4, 2 is where your lines cross. Example number 4. I'm going to graph this first one. This first one needs a little bit of help. It's not in the format that we want, so we're going to do negative x. I'm going to put negative 1x plus 4y equals negative 12. And then we're going to solve for y. Put the x first. Divide by 4. Okay, now that's in graphable form. So we'll start with our y-intercept, the negative 3. There's my y-axis and my x-axis, so I'm going to start by going down 3. 1, 2, 3, right there. That represents that 3 right there. And then my slope, I'm going to go up 1 and right 4. Up 1 and forward 4. Up 1, forward 4. 
And to extend the line the other direction, I go down one and backwards four. Down one and backwards four. I'll kind of put a line right here to know that we're all on that side. Okay. For the second equation, it's already solved. We're going to start by going up four from the center. And then this right here, I will often take the negative and move it up to the top. Instead of leaving it out in front, I'll move it up to the top. So then I'm going to go down three and forward two. Down three, forward two. Down three, forward two. And you'll notice they hit right there. Down three, forward two. And then we just need to identify the place where they cross. Looks like it's right here. Start from the center, zero, zero. Count over right or left. So one, two, three, four to the right, positive four. And then two down, negative two. So these are always written as an X, Y pair. How far you're going left and right, how far you're going up and down. Example five on the back. Looks like both of these are solved for. And if you notice, this and this are exactly the same. So let's see what that does when they're on the graph. I'm going to go up 5, put a dot. And then again, I'll write that as down 2 and forward 3. Down 2, forward 3. Down 2, forward 3. Extend the line the other way by going up two and backwards three. Oops. For the other graph, it's the exact same slope, but this time it starts at negative four. So on my y-axis, the up and down, I'm going to go down to negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm also going to do the same slope, down to forward 3. And the other direction. You probably notice at this point that the two lines do not cross each other, and our solution is going to be where they cross, which they don't. So when that happens, you write no solution. That's if the lines are parallel. So anytime you have two lines that never cross, they'll have the same slope, and the answer will be no solution. All right, and our very last problem, example six, both of these need to be solved for. All right, so we'll do negative 2x plus y equals 5, and we'll do the equation negative, actually I'll just solve that one under here. All right, so we can add 4x and add 4x. So I'm actually solving the second one first. And I always put the x first, because remember I'm looking for all of these to be in the format y equals mx plus b. So I want that x to show up first before the regular number. We divide by 2. 4 divided by 2 is a whole number 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then uh, before I graph that, I'll go ahead and solve the other one. This one's a little bit shorter because there's not a number in front of the y. So as soon as I write y equals, I know I'm about to be done. 
put the X first. And look at that, they're exactly the same. Remember what happens if they're exactly the same line? Just like problem number two here. Remember, if we had the same line, it's going to be infinitely many solutions. So you can write the letters as I, M, S, or you can write many solutions. Probably best to graph this as well. One, two, three, four, up five. And if our slope, the number in front of the X, is a whole number, we'll need to put a one underneath it. That way you know how far to go over. So up to forward one, up to forward one, and opposite direction. Same thing there. If you graph the other line, it's going to be exactly the same. There we are.